This is the only photo that I have of my grandfather. It's old, it's blurry, and it's all I've ever seen of him. He passed away way before I was born, and growing up, my mom would tell me stories of how he lived, how he loved, his work, and the things that gave him joy. But I never got to see any of that. Today, I'm using AI to go back in time, to create memories that I never got to see through the stories my mom tells me and one single photo to start it all. If you have a special photo like this, I'll walk you through the entire process and most of it you can follow along for free. So without any further ado, let's get started. You can use whatever AI platform you want. I prefer design.ai because it has every tool under one roof and you can do a lot with just the free account. Now you can create a blank new project or start from an image. Let's click on that. Let's pick this photo and click on open. Now, since we are going to color and rebuild this photo, you want to make sure you are at image to image because we're going to be creating an image using this image as a reference. Next thing, you want to pick a style. We want to make this realistic. So click here and pick the realistic style. Now, if you don't want to type in a prompt, you can also click on describe canvas. It tries to put into words what it sees in the canvas honestly like my honest grandfather. The image depicts a man with a mustache wearing round glasses and checkered shirt. Looks pretty good but you can type in your own prompt as well. So I'm going to use something simple for my simple living high thinking grandfather. Portrait of an Indian man with dark hair and a mustache. He is wearing glasses and has a neutral expression and dressed in a plaid shirt. Very simple nothing extra makes it very clear to the AI. Since we are creating a high quality color photo of him, not someone else, we want the structures to match. So let's crank structure match to the right. Let's not go beyond the yellow area because that is the suggested range and anything beyond that can lead to artifacts. So let's not risk it. Also, we don't want to generate a black and white photo. So let's keep color match turned off. Definitely, we want it to be the same person. So let's keep face match turned on high quality and click on generate. Without advanced settings, it's fine for now. As you can see, it's cooking something on the right hand side and all of them look incredible. Now, some of them may not perfectly match, so let's generate a few more times. All of them look very much like him, but I have to take the opinion of the home minister, aka my mom, to figure out which one looks most like her dad. She feels this one looks most like him, so let's double click on it to place it on the canvas. Right now, it is placed on canvas, and if you go to layers, it is like Photoshop's layers. Here, you have the original image on top of that, you have the one that we created. See how easy it was to revive the old blurred black and white photo and maintain the same structure? Recently, ChatGPT has been on the rise. It's trending all over the place, especially due to its new image model. But can it do something similar for us like Design did? Let's test it. I'm going to bring in the same image and type in colorize this photo and maybe even write and repair it without changing the face. No matter how many times I tried, it ended up creating a good photo, but this is not my grandfather. I even went to Sora.com, tried a variety of simple prompts too, and this guy is not my grandfather. So this is where design really, really excels because all of the results look like him with just a slight variation. I discovered this website randomly about a year ago, back when it was called Styler AI. They didn't even know I was making a video about it and it crashed their system that day. Back then, they only had a few tools one or two and I've been experimenting with them and when they finally reached out to show how far their platform has come with so darn many tools, I had to try something personal with it. Now before we head over to creating a character of my grandfather so that we can put him in different scenes, why not just create also different angles? Again, this is an optional step. Let's have fun with it. Now, a pretty cool trick to create different angles and expressions from this face is turning this photo into a video. Now, this might not be a free feature and it's absolutely optional as you'll see later in the video. This is just for fun. Let's go to AI video right here. You want to make sure starting frame is set to generate from canvas and for the best results in this scenario, pick Kling 1.6. Now you can type whatever prompt you want. I'm just going to type in he nods left and right so that we get different angles. You can also type in nods up and down, looks at people or imagination. Let's crank it all the way to the right and you can choose 5 seconds or 10 seconds for the video duration. Obviously, the longer the video, the more credits it will eat up. So let's keep it 5 seconds and click on generate. Now this process usually takes 5 to 10 minutes. As you can see right here, it's still processing but I've already created some videos for you. Let me share that. For instance, this is for his up and down movement. And then there is this one where he moves to the side, gives us another angle. This is simply looking at the camera and this will definitely be accurate. No issues with that. Again, this is him looking down and this is perfect. We can use this as an angle to train the AI. The problem usually comes with facial expressions, especially when the subject smiles hard. As you can see in this case, to us, this looks 
perfect. But when I showed this to my mother, she was like, that's absolutely not my dad. The way our face muscles work when it comes to smiling is unique to everyone. By the way, just for fun, since my grandfather worked in the telephone department, BSNL, for those you know, I created videos of him talking on the phone, maybe sipping tea. Now for the fun part. This brought back a lot of memories. If you want to see the prompt behind every video generation or image generation, click on the I button right here. As you can see, he is looking around for his family and calling out his kids. This is the angry grandfather. Before we go any further, I wanted to let you know there's a special giveaway at the end of this video. You can win prizes like the RTX 4090, design premium memberships and cash rewards. So watch the video till the end to find out how to enter. Now coming to the most fun part of the video where we actually create a character with AI. So let's create a blank new canvas by clicking here. Let's go with square. So here, let's pick this one, hit apply. Now click on the character to go there and click on build your character. You can build a brand new character with just prompts, but we have images. We want it to be like our grandfather. Let's click on start with images. Now you can upload up to 30 photos of different angles, different expressions, different scenarios. Let's say you're creating a character for yourself. You upload 20 of your photos in different scenarios, different angles and different expressions. And the AI will create a character that you can generate in any pose, any position, anywhere, anyhow you want. In this case, we'll test if we can do it with just one photo. Since the video feature is premium, we'll try one photo for now. Let's upload it here. Don't worry, I'm going to share with you examples with multiple photos later. Trust me, it's going to be a lot of fun for now. Let's name this character Grandfather Version 2 because I've already created one. Click on Start Training. Right now, it is showing 20 minutes. Sometimes this process takes 40 minutes, depending upon the complexity and the time and the traffic. For now, let's close it. Now, you can turn off your computer, grab a coffee or go out for a while. It will keep doing that in the background. Once it is done, just simply go to Generate Images here. Choose character. I already have created my grandfather character. So many versions of it. Let's go with this one. Now, this is the default description that comes with the character. Every scene that you generate the character in, it will maintain the description. For example, here it says light played collared shirt. In every image you generate, it's going to be the same shirt. If you want to change that, you can change light to dark or something else. For now, I'm going to keep it the way it is. Time for us to go a trip down the memory lane, a memory that never existed for me and to create scenes from his life. So I talked with my mother, asked her what he liked, what kind of stuff he did and came up with a few scenes. Every morning he would sit in the garden and talk on the phone with his old black old fashioned rotary phones that we used to have. So I explained it right here, Indian man in the 1970s sitting outside black rotary dial telephone with a long cord sunlight falling on his face you can be as descriptive as you like you can even pick the camera angles that's crazy if you go to the camera section you can choose to have a close-up upper body full body or a wide shot even front view back view all of that I'm gonna leave it at auto for now generation mood normal is fine and click on generate now I already generated a few scenes of him in the outdoors and not every character is gonna look like him but look at this this is crazy good now to me who has never seen my grandfather this looks perfect but you have to ask someone who has seen the person so according to my mom this was the best I also generated a few more and I got into a generation spree now for some areas as you can see the cord looks awkward but it can be easily corrected using other tools now as my mom tells me my grandfather used to like talking to people. So I explained a scene standing on the gate and smiling and talking to people. He was from Jamshedpur and our family lived in a modest quarter. I've explained it right here. And let's click on generate. Now it generated a lot of results and there are several where it doesn't look like him because it's just trained with one photo. But still, we could find a few where it looked exactly like him. For example, this one, absolutely accurate according to my mom. This one as well was really, really good. Few more scenes that my mom explained was that he liked to read outdoors. He would sit on the ground, read some books or maybe read a newspaper. And as I already told you, he was the old school government man, worked in the government telephone department, BSNL. So I tried to recreate a few of his office scenes, although some of them have a few mistakes here and there. And we'll learn how to correct that later in the video. What was most iconic for me was when I was trying to create a photo of him waving goodbye. And this turned up. Oh my gosh, my mom told me this is exactly how he smiles. Also, like me, my grandfather used to ride motorcycles and used to have a time of his life doing that. And this was so fun to create. Now, how do you fix little issues in your photo? Not every photo is going to be perfect, especially when there are complex objects in it. For example, let's take a look at this one. The phone coil is fine, but where is it going? It should be attached to a phone, not the table. For it, let's go to the AI editor here. We want to insert an object, which is a phone. You can also type in a prompt, but let me show you something interesting. Click on insert object. With the help of the lasso here, 
just make a selection like so for the phone simple and you can have a phone exactly as you like now since the receiver is away i got this image without the receiver so let's upload it here by clicking pick an image let's go to the location where the photo is here's the phone click on open I don't want to describe it, it's fine, and click on generate. And have a look, it creates the exact same phone. If you think it is too big, make the selection a bit smaller. Now I made a smaller selection and generate it one more time, and this looks nicer. So let's double click on it to place it on canvas. Now if you want to remove this, you can use the same technique. Go to AI editor and then AI eraser and just select that area like so and click on generate. And there you go, you have a couple options. I'm going to go with this one double click to place it on canvas. Fantastic. I wanted to do something meaningful for my mom. This photo looks like how he actually smiled. So I decided to turn this into a video by going to AI video. Here we have the character. Make sure it is Kling 1.6. Start frame from the canvas. And let's type in, he is waving goodbye and smiling. We want this to be a bit longer. So let's set the duration to 10 seconds and imagination all the way to the right hand side. Let's click on generate. How beautiful, isn't it? Especially when you add background music, this will become so much better. And now for something fun, a heroic movie. I created this photo of him riding on a motorcycle, so why not? Let's go to AI video. And this time, let's type in, he's riding a motorcycle in high speed, slight wind around, passing through narrow streets of India in the 70s. Let's click on generate. And after adding a little bit of sound effects to this with the magic of video editing, this is how it looks. Now I know what you've been waiting for. What happens when you train a character with multiple photos? If I go to manage characters, you'll notice that I have a character for myself, actually two. And if you click on this button, you'll be able to see the photos uploaded. And through all of these photos, let's see if AI can create something better. So inside of character, let's go to generate images. And here, choose a character. I'm gonna go with Unmesh, that's me. And right now, whatever I type, I'm gonna be wearing a casual black polo shirt. That is my default description. Every instance of this character I generate, it's going to be wearing a black polo shirt. You can change it, however. So let's change black to blue. And let's click on generate. By the way, here's a prompt of me singing at an open concert outdoors with sunlight. And this is what it creates. It looks a bit like me, not so inaccurate though, but this kind of not so much like me. So let's generate a few more times. But one thing did you notice? In all of the generations, I'm wearing a blue shirt. That consistency, it kind of maintained. Whoa, this is weird. Now if the face doesn't match, let's say I like this one. Double click to add it to the canvas. You can go back to character and here choose insert character. With the lasso, make a selection of the face area. You want to choose the same character, which was Unmesh. And let us type in Unmesh singing. Generate. Now it generates a few variations for just the face and I have to say, some of it definitely does look like me. I would actually generate one or two more times to get it more perfect and then you can use other tools to make it even more sharper. Let's say you like this, I'm gonna double click right here. There is enhance and upskill to add more details. Now let's do something fun with insert character. Why should I have to sing alone? Let's go and generate something new by going to generate images again and this time, Let's sing a duet at an open concert outdoors with a girl, because why not? Now it will definitely create a random girl, but we don't want her to be random. So this is my final generation. It kind of looks like me, but the girl is random. So let's go to the character section, insert character, and I'm just gonna select her face, maybe her hair as well. Let's go to choose character, and I have a character called Anna that I created with a set of licensed stock photos and here are her photos for reference so that you understand how she looks like. Let's select her and type in Anna singing. Generate. And it generated a few photos and here we have her. Let's go with this one. Double click on it to add it to the canvas. So you got exactly what you want to do and who you want to be with. Now there's one problem. She's holding the microphone, the bottom part is there, but where is the top part? Let's go to our AI editor. If you have a photo of a microphone, you can go to insert object or local edit. If you just want to type in the prompt with the lasso, I'm going to select this particular area like so and type in microphone. Style realistic is fine. Click on generate. Now some results are weird, but this one fits the best. 
let's go with it and there you go how wonderful is that now i feel this is usually made for illustrations and character but i really feel that with time it's gonna get so much better very quickly in just one year design has added so many tools that it's unbelievable what you can do with it this journey began with one single photo of my grandfather and ended up creating something that was meaningful and made a lot of my family members emotional. If you want to try design AI for yourself, there never has been a better time. You can sign up for free using the link in the description and access most of its features. And for the moment you have been waiting for, Design AI is hosting a special giveaway with some amazing prizes, including an RTX 4090, cash rewards, and premium design memberships. To win, simply follow the steps in the description and trust me, you can actually win. And even if you don't, you get real free access to most of these features. I started this video with one photo. What will you start with? 